it's such an influential space and if you are not anchored and rooted in knowing who you are whose voice you listen to whose approval you you seek you easily become tossed to and fro hey guys welcome back to the young beauty channel if you are new here hey there my name is t if you are a returning subscriber up welcome back today i will be doing a brown skin girl sun kissed you know tutorial for you guys so if you're interested to see um, how i achieve this look keep watching and do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like this video and do not forget to leave a comment also it is a bit of a chit chat so you know put that volume up and let's talk. Okay, first order of business. Skin prep, y'all. Skin prep. Don't ever miss this step. Ever. If you want a flawless beat, don't do it. I got this face mist from Take A Lot. This is just to soothe my skin. I usually use it here as well as where I need more hydration which is like this part of my face because I started using this new um, moisturizer with salicylic acid and it's kind of drying especially on my forehead so hydration is key as you guys can see this thing will make your face look so moist and so ugh, I love it and then I go in with this extra hydration honey like one thing i will do is hydrate my skin Shay, my skin is doing so much better you guys you guys should check out um i did a review on the oxy products that i'm using currently uh you guys should check out the that video if you're acne prone and your pockets is not allowing you to to get la roche La Roche Pose, or I don't know what they call it, but they're yeah, you. So I'm just um, going in with a hydrating primer. This one is from Essence. Is it even gonna focus? I, yeah, I'm afraid, yeah, I'm. But anyway, I'll put all the products um, as I go along. It's so their hydrating. Um, skin refreshing primer. It's got coconut water and hyaluronic acid. I love it also if it's like my skin is really feeling dehydrated and I'm not necessarily putting makeup on because you can use it alone. It definitely ha adds that extra hydration. They always say a little goes a long way, but like, I I rather take a bit more than a little. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to use a flat brush. This is, it's a it's a very tiny flat brush. I got this like as part of my beginner brush set. It's kind of covering the spots that I do have, as you can, guys can see. I mean, this side, I haven't put that much on. But I don't have to go in with my color corrector, which means my spots are fading. I'm a happy girl. Anyway, y'all, I wanted this to be like a chit-chat. Chit-chat, Nyana, get ready with me. Um, I don't know the Lord laid it on my heart to speak on something and I'm so nervous but like at the same time who am I to say no but yeah in 2021 20, I 
pretty much went ghost on social media like all my social media platforms after being very active since since the beginning of social media you know since high school i went offline and ever since then i actually was off until until i started my young beauty instagram page so my personal page is still like you won't find me on my personal instagram and the reason why i went off social media was because i was in a point in a time in my life where i felt so burnt out i felt like i was doing so much to i don't know get noticed online so i could make money and i don't know build some type of lifestyle for myself and i was just like you know what i need guidance from god like i need him to come and tell me what to do because i was doing a lot and none of it fulfilled me if anything it drained me i just i didn't feel like i knew who i was anymore like it was just a lot what actually happened is that my phone stopped working um and then because i was already in a place of hunger and desire for the word of god for god to show up for god to talk to me i wasn't really like bummed out when my phone stopped working i saw it as like the perfect opportunity to actually spend as much time with him in his word and in prayer as possible because there was no way i could be distracted by my phone because it wasn't working so sharp i'm in prayer i'm fasting i think i did a 21 day fast just wanting god to speak to me i was desperate like i was desperate for the presence of the lord and just a word from god and his like he's leading i felt like i was doing a lot outside of that and lo and behold guys when you desire or when you seek the lord with all your heart you will find him and he came through during my first and that's pretty much um why i decided to stay off going forward at some point um, my phone i got a new phone and so i was like this was like a, almost an opportunity for me either to come back online or to just continue being off right and i was just like you know what lord unless you've really given me something that you wanted me to post about or share online i'm just gonna stay offline so i stayed offline um ever since then fast forward fast forward um what essentially what i wanted to actually say was like how social media is can make you give up on something that god actually called you to do just because it's not um glorified online you know um it can also make you pursue something that god never told you to pursue because it's glorified online like it's such a influential space hence i think there's influencers online it's such an influential space and if you are not anchored and rooted in knowing who you are whose voice you listen to whose approval you you seek you easily become cross to and fro because on one hand you are trying to listen here but then on the other hand you like but then this is what's happening like there's there could be a lot of confusion and i think in our early days of development like being young and with a 20 i was i think 20 turning 22 i turned 22 that year which is still very young like that's a crucial stage in life where you need to be anchoring yourself spiritually so that you are not led by your own desires but you're led by god you know? another thing that i think social media did for me or does in general for maybe a lot of people and if you relate let me know in the comments but it makes you rush through the plan so for example let's say you do you do know how god speaks to you and you've developed that relationship with the lord but now the timing of everything in your life seems to be taking long compared to um what you see online and how other people's lives are going because i think as humans as much as we always say like oh don't compare yourself to others it's kind of hard not to because we're exposed to other people's lives like on a daily like 
up close and personal when i get that people say oh it is curated but like i think 20 percent of it is not so even if someone posts something say they're i don't know in a relationship they, maybe the post is curated but they're in a relationship you get me and when now you have to wait you have to wait for that time of your life to come so that you can enjoy those fruits you know with no stress but now you're rushing because uh you're seeing that oh so many other people have this one thing that i really want and i really believe the lord is like giving me but he's not giving me now and now you you rush to a point where excuse me you go out of your way to start creating the very thing that the lord said he'd give you so for example with the relationship thing if you prayed and the lord has told you or confirmed to you that you know you are someone he created to be in the marriage and you know whatever the purpose of your marriage may be you know it's different from person to person or from marriage to marriage sharp cool that's confirmed but now because you're seeing how everyone else is like in this marriage thing now you feel the need to constantly put yourself out there you know constantly be in the spots where all the singles are constantly like even maybe joining uh online dating and i'm not shaming it i'm saying if the lord has not led you to it what are you doing why are you doing it you get me like you just and it happens to all of us like we it's hard to wait for things guys and one thing that i learned in scripture is that um promotion and blessings they come from god right so by the way i'm just trying to con uh, add some light under my eyes i'm gonna go in with my normal concealer but just so i wouldn't have to put that much and just so my eyes are like a bright bright you know a good bright under eye man a really good bright under eye and i'm not saying networking is bad i'm just saying there's a certain point where you have to really assess your actions and say am i trying to promote myself or am i just being obedient to what the lord is saying i should do Uh, see the benefits of leaving your concealer a bit longer before you blend is that it doesn't move out of place it stays exactly where you put it it is not going nowhere but anyway I was just saying like you know you rush so much so that you end up trying to get yourself in rooms that the lord has already said he'll get you in you know and that's the thing with being a believer and putting your trust in god you know when you say i trust you lord that means in spite how i feel in spite what i think things should be like i'm going to sit where you have asked me to sit take a number and take a seat i will wait my turn let me go back to what i was essentially saying in the beginning which was how social media being or being off social media really allowed me to surrender my timeline to the lord to say yes god you know what i want to be successful in whatever you've called me to but it does not mean i'm going to be successful now it may take some time and I will surrender that time. It really takes like laying your life down. Like I think 
it may sound like I'm being dramatic when I say laying your life down, but like it really does because one thing I did think about was like, oh my gosh, God, am I not missing out on anything? Like, what if some opportunity comes and then I'm not online, so it passes me by? But then at the same time, I always had to remember that times and seasons belong to God. And if God has specifically wanting me in a specific space then there's nothing i'm missing on the other side so i had to just surrender guys it took surrendering surrendering to just saying yo i'm off the grid barely and like can nobody find me i mean i like that nobody could find me like i'm very like introverted so that part wasn't necessarily the problem it was just like I was pushing something online. So now everything stops, no more pushing. Like what about the bag, God? What about the bag? You know, a girl's gotta eat, you understand? But the Lord, the Lord was like, you know what, girl? I will provide for you wherever I lead you. And wherever I don't lead you, I will not provide. And whatever provision you get, it's not gonna be from me. So it might cause you to compromise or it might not be it, it, you might not be able to enjoy it the way you can enjoy provision that comes from me oh my gosh doing brows on camera okay extreme spot i'm probably gonna touch them up off camera i'm just trying to show you guys how i do them you know make sure that you've sharpened your pencil so that you know you can kind of draw in ah! gosh like my pencil is almost done uh, it literally is almost done but anyway yeah so surrendering you know to the lord's timelines and what the lord really wanted to do and i feel like i'm so grateful that i actually took that time offline because God worked on me, guys. God convicted me, but he also comforted me. He helped me to heal from so much childhood trauma. Like so much from family childhood trauma to friends that I had. To just relationships that I was involved in. I was a hurt hun pre-2021. I was operating from a place of people are replaceable. Like, ah, if this person doesn't want to stay, they can go, you know. Or if, if this person doesn't like what I'm doing, they can go, you know, I'll find, you know, somebody else who's gonna accept me, whatever the case may be. And to a certain extent, it's not wrong to, to think like that. But when you are now okay, just intentionally causing other people pain and then masking it as protecting yourself or choosing yourself, like as a hurt person, it makes perfect sense. You know, it makes perfect sense because you're kind of trying to survive, survival mode, you know. So it makes sense to do stuff that make you happy, but at the expense of others, you know, just because nobody looked out for you when they did everything that they did and you had to be okay with it. So they will be okay with what I do. You understand? It was that mentality. And the Lord really worked on me like... He really went deep like, yo guys, I don't know how many times I cried in prayer. Not because uh, something bad was happening at the moment, but because we were digging out old stuff. Like, guys, things from primary school. Things I didn't even know bothered me. <laughs> like, it was intense, in-depth like surgery i felt like i was under the knife my heart was going through it and god was just like this one here this part why do you have this this idea why, where is it coming from eh guys it was tough but it was beautiful because the lord doesn't just you know go through your past to make fun of you for your past or to shame you he really really wants you to let him in so that you can change your perspective on the things that have happened to you and that they can help you build you yo guys my social media hiatus was 
it was an intense transformation glory to the lord because i love who i am now not because i'm perfect but because i know i'm not perfect and i don't see myself as also that hurt little girl i see myself as a healed young woman who is still gonna get hurt of course that's part of life but i now know how to navigate life with those experiences because i understand where my help comes from and where my comfort comes from and where my identity comes from like man When it comes to my brows, man, I don't like to highlight the top from the front like I used to, you know, just conceal, conceal. I rather do it from like here. I don't know if you guys can see. Just so that in the front, it still looks pretty natural. Can you guys see that? You get me? Does it make sense now? So for me to actually come back online, the Lord laid it on my heart to start to actually go back to the very things I used to enjoy doing, which is makeup. Hence, I am not even... I'm going to contour my face with this. Like, I'm rushing to because of load shedding. But hence, I'm not even on socials with my personal page. Because that has not been something that the Lord has actually said I should really focus on and go back to just because I don't think there's really anything of value for me to add with that page but yeah social media you need intention if you're not entertaining or entertained and it's stressing you it's depressing you bro get off that thing like get off that thing and, and just Cultivate peace, inner peace, which I said, cultivate ooh, ooh. inner peace. Oh, guys, I'm just going to warm up my face. So what I like to do in warm seasons is just add bronzer. So it's this here. I don't really contour. I just want to have that sun-kissed vibe, you know. I really do not recommend South Africa as a country to live in because anyway let's continue so I'm going to like I said I usually put this a bronzer on my eyelids
But yeah, guys, essentially that's that's my story with you know socials and how the Lord used that hiatus to really change my life. Like I'm a different person. I've healed from my past, guys. You know, it's so easy to underestimate how much our past has actually affected us when we just continue with life and just live like you know but Mudimu was like I'm using this moment I'm using this moment to actually show you that you've been you think oh but you think you're healed but in actual fact my dear a lot of the things the decisions you are making are coming from that unhealed little girl in you but the Lord was just like child for where I want you to go you can't go with your hurts and your pains So I'm gonna use this orange from this She Glam palettes. So I got this from Shein. So just you know, smile again, smile. You always gotta smile, and then apply it to the almost the highest part of your cheek, not the whole cheek bone. Just you get me? I feel like the using an orange blush. It really it brings color to your face without the potential of feeling like you look clowny. You know. And then for the final touch-ups. I'm going to um, line my eyelids Now for the for the for the fun part. Let's to get my brown lipstick. This is an LA Girl lipstick. I love their lipsticks. And I align my lips with it.
and then I can put any color that I so please. I think today I want to put a what's this pink? Now let me use this one. It's like a nude kind of yeah. I'm not really a um, matte lipstick girl, so I'm going to go in with the Essence Lip Gloss to add gloss and then we set the face and set that, set that face oh. <laughs> with the Maybelline Set and Spray. Let me just take this off. Period. Okay, and this is the final. Look, what Dali. Yeah, my edges, I tried to lay them, but like, they wouldn't lay. Forgot to set my brows, honey. My favorite part about doing brows is seeing them come together with their brow gel. You get me? You get me? You get me? See? really given but anyway to conclude our chats to conclude the chat I was saying number one I don't know if I can conclude them like this but if you find yourself in a place where like like you are sort of confused disorientated you don't know if you're moving forward you're moving back or if you find yourself just not knowing what to do with your life or like and you just still consuming all that content online consider switching it off consider like highly consider switching it off and just taking a hiatus you're not gonna miss anything you don't have to be gone for two three years like i was but however the lord leads you to leave if you leave for a month a week but in that time be intentional with actually pursuing the presence of god he's leading his guidance Hey man, a word from the Lord will anchor you. You know, there's a scripture that says, where there's no vision, the people cast off restraints. Meaning when, they, when there's no vision, a word, and something that keeps you focused, you're going to end up just doing anything and not having anything that's restraining, anything that's guiding, anything that's leading you saying, okay, let's go back to the word. Are we actually still aligned? No, let's not do that. Or if something comes your way, you'll be able to vet it against that word. And you won't just do everything that comes your way because you don't have any vision. If you guys like this look, give this video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and switch that notification button on. I think from here on out, I'm definitely going to be talking a lot more in my tutorials. And talking a lot more candidly. I'm gonna try this kind of thing. Like I overthink a lot of things, but you know what they say? Uh, insecurity is also pride. Yeah, that one gutted me when I heard it. I was like, it is also pride because it's you thinking that you need to have it all together in order for God to use you. You thinking that you need to be a certain, you need to talk a certain way, and you know, having so many requirements for yourself before God can use you. Whereas God takes what you have and what you bring. And he uses that to help you as well as other people. So I really hope that this video blessed someone. If not physically, then just from everything that I shared. Um, like I said, subscribe if you are new. Turn on that notification bell. And I hope to see you again in another video. Peace and love. Mwah.